New York to do a, a television show called Hullabaloo, uh, and it was a really big deal, you know. And, uh, how big of a deal was it, you say, Steve? Well, I was on with the Supremes and the Four Tops. I, got, I have to say, but uh, I got paid two hundred and fifty dollars for doing the gig, and uh, I, was, I felt like I was you know, really flushed. So I immediately went right over to Manny's Music on Forty Eighth Street, Manhattan, which is one of the was one of the greatest guitar stores in the world. Everybody went there, and all the you know all the great players. Their pictures were on the wall. They were hanging. I wanted to buy one of my godfather's guitars. I wanted to get a Les Paul mm -hmm. custom guitar. Nice. And, and I went in, and it turned out uh, 250 bucks wouldn't buy anything in the store. How would his name so <laughs> I was on my way out, and there was a big barrel by the front door. And on the side of it said, your choice, $125. <laughs> And I looked at this barrel, and, I, and there were about 12 guitars stuffed in the barrel, body first, and just the necks were sticking out of the barrel, and they were, you know, they were really not great guitars. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll take a look, because 125 bucks, that, that means I got 125 bucks left, you know. So I reached in, and I pulled this baby out. I saw this, this peg head here, and I, I looked at it, and I went, yeah, what is it? Uh, I'd never seen anything like it. Most guitars have, you know, two pickups, four knobs. This guitar has six knobs. Wow. And, and it's got three large pickups in the shape of lipstick tubes. There they are. Uh, it has a pick guard that's mounted on springs. No one knows why, but there, there it is. And, <laughs> and of course, it is covered in purple simulated alligator skin. <clears throat> and this guitar, this was before LSD, and this was before, you know, before all that stuff. You know, in San Francisco, before the world changed the psychedelic revolution and all that business. And uh, the period was, it was called, the, you know, the swing in London, you know, it was like the Beatles were really big and George Harrison was into Indian music and Ravi Shankar was playing the sitar and, and um, this, like I say, it said a Vincent Bell signature design electric sitar, so I went, I'll take it. And, uh, it was how groovy was it, really, you know? It's so groovy, it's got a mirror on the back. <laughs> Woo! It's a girl's guitar! Woo! I'm telling you, swing in London, very groovy guitar. So, uh, I was at a guitar show with my friend Dick Boak not too long ago, and uh, one of his wealthy collector friends came by to see me, and he said, you're Steve Miller, aren't you? And I said, uh, yeah, sure. And he said, uh, it's not that sitar guitar, Steve. He said, yeah, I do. He said, well, I want to buy it. And I said, well, <laughs> I couldn't sell it. I really couldn't. He said, no, no, no. Uh, you should hear me out. He said, I want to offer you $125,000 for your guitar. Hell yeah! What do you think? Should I sell it? No! No! Should I keep it? Yeah! Sell it? No! Keep it? Yeah! Dick, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, there, there's one of the things this guitar that I didn't tell you about. It's got 19 strings on it, and it sounds like this. <laughs>